Hello grade 10 students. In this video we are going to explain our new lesson which is scalar products. So the objectives of our lesson is to define what's the scalar product of two vectors and what are their properties. Uh, what's the sign of the dot product? How can we tell that two vectors are orthogonal or perpendicular? What's the norm of a vector? What's the angle between two vectors and how we can find its analytic expression of the dot product related to the angle and the dot product? And how can we tell that two vectors are orthogonal according to the rule? And then we can find the, uh, or calculate the cosine of the angle between those two vectors. First of all, let us remember together that the components of a vector are expressed in unit vector notation, which is i in the x direction, j in the y direction. So we know that i dot i equals 1 and j, i dot j equals 0, because i and j are perpendicular, while i and i are on the same direction. Also, j dot j equals to 0. It's one sort. Now, we're going to talk about the dot product of two vectors. The dot product of two vectors, it's when I multiply the components of the first vector with the components of the second vector. But to make it more easy for you, or easier for you, we know that u dot v, it's directly x, x prime plus y, y prime, where x and y are the components of the vector u, and x prime and y prime are the components of the vector B. So directly when you see the dot product, you do xx prime and yy prime of those two vectors without telling or without making all these steps. Okay, now we're going to take an example. We have the following points A, B, C, and D in the orthonormal system OIJ. We're going to calculate a, B, vector A, B, it's X, B minus X, A, Y, B minus Y, A, and the components of the vector C, D, it's X, D minus X, C, and Y, D minus Y, C. So those are the components of A, B, and C, D. Now, we are going to do A, B dot C, D, where I multiply the X components and the Y components together. So when I multiply the X components, I get minus 9, and the Y components are plus 7, so the final answer is minus 2. Also, we can do AB squared. AB squared is AB dot AB, where I multiply the components of the AB uh, by themselves. Now, properties of the dot product. You have to know that you know that the dot product is commutative, where u dot v is exactly v times u, and they are distributive, where I have u dot v plus w equals u dot v plus u dot W. And also, if I multiply the u dot v by a constant, so the constant is multiplied by either the u component or the v component. 0 times any vector is 0. v dot v is equal to the norm of v squared. Now, what's the norm and the distance? If u equals x, y, then the norm of u or the distance, we say that the distance of a line but the norm of a vector is equal to the radical of x component plus squared plus y component squared. But if I have two points like a and b, the, the distance of a, b is x minus x prime squared plus y minus y prime squared. Now, what's the angle between the two vectors? If I have two vectors u, a, b, and v, AC, the angle of U and V is defined by theta BAC, as you can see here. And how do we calculate cosine of the angle? It's x, x prime plus y, y prime over radical x squared plus y squared dot radical x prime squared plus y prime squared, which is the second vector. Now, the scalar of two vectors, how do I multiply two vectors? u dot v, we already know that it's x, x prime plus y, y prime. Now we know that u dot v is the norm of u times the norm of v times cosine, the angle between them. If um, u equals not 0 and v is not 0, of course. If u dot v equals to 0, so it's either u or v is equal to 0. Example, we have the, vector, the norm of u is 3, the norm of v is 4, and the angle between them is pi over 3. Then u dot v equals the norm of u times the norm of v times cosine the angle between them, which is 6. Now, another expression of scalar product. We know that those are the two vectors. 
and x is the orthogonal projection of the first vector on the second vector. So u dot v equals a b dot a c, which is a b times a h. Since the cosine is equal to a h over a c, you know that the cosine equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So a b dot a c equals a b times a c times cosine. Instead of cosine, it's a h over a c, which is a b times a c. Now we have to know that uh, if the dot product is greater than zero, then the angle is acute. If the dot product is less than zero, then the angle is obtuse. And if it's exactly zero, then the angle is right. Orthogonal vectors. How can we tell that two vectors are uh, orthogonal if their dot product is equal to zero or x x prime plus y y prime is equal to zero? Example, as you can see here, AB dot BC. You know that AB and BC are perpendicular, so definitely their dot product is zero. While AB dot DB, AB dot DB, um, their dot product is not zero because the angle between them is not 90. So I calculate the measure of AB, I calculate the measure of DB, and the cosine between them is 45 because this is a square, then the dot product is equal to 9.